What is this? Why are her head tentacles glowing? The big green tattoo man is filled with remorse and fear. How dare you? I am afraid of nothing! Now he is ashamed for his outburst. Mantis is an empath, Drax. She can sense your emotions. I do not show emotion! She's also the one who made us relive our memories. That was you? We went halfway across the galaxy, got chased by that psycho Hala for a party trip? It is my job to guide the Celestial One. What the hell does that mean? The Celestial One? You messed with our minds. Why? I am Groot. She knows about the Eternity Forge. She says she's connected to it. That's supposed to make me less confused? Oh, I can explain. Long ago... Wait, the... wait, wait. Are you gonna spew some long mumbo-jumbo about where you come from and why I should care? Yes. Is that a problem? Remember Thanos? Going on like, now that I got this, I'm gonna roll through the galaxy like a giant turd and blah, blah, blah. Well, I, for one, want to hear it. All of it. Then it's time for a nap. Go ahead, Mantis. Enlighten us. Of course, Peter Quill. I have communicated only through my feelings for years. It is nice to communicate with my mouth. The Eternity Forge coalesced into existence as a way to balance the life energy of the universe. To create, you must destroy. And to destroy, you must create. But such colossal power cannot be wielded oh, yeah, boy, lightly. Boy, 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 boy. So I was brought in to ensure that the forge was only wielded by someone deserving and to help guide the wielder down the right path. But I waited and waited. Years went by. Many unworthy tried to use the forge. Some even tried to force me to help them. The Cree decided that no culture had matured enough to use the forge with the wisdom required. Eventually, the forge and I were separated, locked away until a time when civilizations could reach the peak of wisdom and maturity. And that is only the beginning. Well, thanks a lot for that, Pete. Hmm. What an interesting and relevant story. Aren't you glad we heard it all, champ? Someday, Quill, I'm gonna blast you out an airlock. I have not yet gotten to the most important part. Kill me. There is a legend of the Celestial One. The Chosen One who shall arrive from the stars to use the Eternity Forge. This Celestial One. What are they like? Advanced intellect. Emotionally mature. Wise being capable of navigating the dark waters of immense power. Someone who can see beyond his own selfish desires. That's... <laughs> that describes me pretty perfectly. <laughs> hey, come on, guys. Hey, knock it off. <laughs> it is not funny. Peter is the Celestial One. Oh, you're so full of crap, lady. If Pete is this celestial what's-it, then why didn't the stupid forge work? Sure, it brought him back. But when we tried to use it again on... someone else, it didn't do a damn thing. Your loss. I can feel it has been with you for some time. The forge is... limited right now. It can only restore life to a body that is mostly whole and... Undeteriorated. I am Groot. Ah. Well, that explains Hala's delightful corpse collection. She'll bring them all back if she gets the forge. Fantastic! So it's incredibly useful to our worst enemy, but useless to us. It can be made more useful. How? The Celestial One must deliver the forge to the sacred shrine. There you can unlock its true power or destroy it forever. And that true power is what? Returning anyone from any time period back to the realm of the living. Lost ones, loved ones, I suppose hated ones too, if you were so inclined, 
You can bring back anyone? Like, anyone at all? Anyone who ever existed can be brought back, so long as you have the required energy, of course. One life for one life. So someone still has to die for the thing to work. Then let's finish our drinks and go use this thing. Yes! Really? Who are you planning to kill? Well, you're kind of annoying me right Hala now. Hala wants to use this forge to raise her army. We have to destroy Not it. until my family is returned I to me. I am Groot. Right? Groot says he's on my side. That's three to one, Gamora. We win. That is not true. Groot feels the opposite. Uh, I mean, maybe something got lost in translation. Hey, I can't believe I never thought to ask this question until now, and it's terrifying me. Do you even understand, Groot? Of course I do. I'm sorry, I just don't want that thing destroyed until we use it. It was a one-time thing. I am Groot? Okay, a two-time thing. So, it is a tie then. Two for using it. I am Groot. I'm gonna take a guess. He said two for destroying it. Don't you get what this means? We can bring back anyone that we lost. Wow. Uh... Okay, this is, uh... <laughs> It's a lot to process here. Kind of heavy on the responsibility, you know? It's... Let me think on it. <laughs> well, one way or another, this all ends at the shrine. Can you take us there, Mantis? I have never been. But with your help, I believe I can sense its location. May we have some space to concentrate? Gladly. If anyone needs me, I'll be emotionally unavailable. And that's new. Ha ha ha. What are you doing? Helping? Hmm. Maybe it is best if you sit still. Right, of course. <sighs> I cannot sense the shrine. There is so much unrest among your crew. Their emotions are overwhelming me. They look to you for guidance. Help them. Drax, how are you doing? I am hopeful the Forge can bring my family back, if you choose to use it. Well, I... So I must trust you would not take away my chance to reunite with my wife and daughter, even though you did not behave in a trustworthy manner. Huh? You had no right to have the Antenna Woman do that to me. You did not even ask my permission. I just wanted to know what was going on. In here. In my chest. In your heart. It is pumping blood. Blood and feelings, buddy. Blood and feelings. She told me I was afraid. I do not like to feel afraid. Such feelings bring me great shame. But, talking to you, a frequently scared person, has helped. Ah. Anytime, Drax. Hey there, Groot. Oh. Is that a friend of yours? I am Groot. I'll tell you this. We're all gonna be okay. No matter what happens with the Forge. I am Groot. Hey, bud, what's up? Well, if it ain't Captain Indecision. What are you... I, I don't know what's holding you back from doing the right thing here, Quill. I mean, I, I can count on one paw how many folks ever get a chance to bring back... someone they love. I am Groot. And what happens if Hala gets a hold of it, huh? This falls into the wrong hands the whole galaxy is screwed. The whole galaxy is already screwed. It's always screwed. You think if we destroy this thing, that'll make a difference? Ah, the only ones you're screwing are your so-called 
friends. Rocket. You know what, Pete? I wish the Forge had never brought you back. Yeah. I am Groot. It should have brought someone else. Anyone else back instead. Lila would be ashamed of you right now. You saw one damn memory of her. And you're talking like you knew her? Go to hell, Pete. Only this time, don't come back. I am Groot. You can both go to hell. Well, that's one way to clear his emotional unrest. I am Groot. Okay? The hell was that? I tried to say everything I could think of. I thought maybe if I asked her to stick around for a while... Ugh. She won't hear it. Not from me. She'll barely even look at me. So don't give up on her. Family is always worth it. I know. I'm really trying. I just can't find the right words with her. But maybe, maybe if we had more time, I could try talking to her again when she's calmed down. Give her some space without losing her altogether. Then that's what I'll do. You've been a great help, Peter. Just, maybe not right now. Think she needs some alone time. How about now? Not that I can tell. There's still... something blocking me. Um, hey, Nebula. Yeah, uh, hey, it's me, <laughs> Peter Quill, <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> yeah, but you know that. You mind if I sit? Cool, yeah, this is, uh, this is really, how's the arm? It's not bad. Would have come in handy to have both arms while fighting off the Kree. I suppose I'm lucky you let me out at all. So, thanks, I guess. Like I said then, it was just a trust exercise. You passed. Pretty sure Gamora still needs convincing. Speaking of my dear sister, bet you got an earful. What'd she say about me? That I'm a waste of space. That I deserve everything I've been through. Gamora says she still cares about you. She sure has a funny way of showing it. Gamora doesn't even realize that she's the reason our family ended. Yeah, well, that's not how it looked to me. What do you mean? When we were in the temple, I saw Gamora's memory of your last mission. Oh, yeah? What did you see? She saved your life from that Kree general dude. I mean, he would have killed you if Gamora hadn't stepped in. No, he wouldn't have. You have no idea what really happened that day. And neither does Gamora. Not all of it, at least. Then show me. Now, please take my hand. If this kills me, I'm going to kick your ass. Is everything all right? 
What's going on? Thanos wants to talk to you. To me? Nebula, my favorite daughter. Father. Your attacks against your sister were swift, precise. You disarmed Gamora easily. I was impressed. Gamora is a good teacher. I owe all my knowledge to her. And yet you emerged the victor. You have clearly outgrown her teachings. There is something you must know about Gamora. She has informed me that she does not want you around anymore. That she works better alone. Every day she grows more agitated and bitter as she watches you surpass her. You've seen her lack of respect. She disobeys me time and time again. I no longer trust her. You shouldn't trust her either, Nebula. Gamora has become a risk to our family. I'll keep an eye on her from now on. Good. That is all I ask. If she continues to be a problem, you might take her place. Stand by my side as my greatest warrior and only daughter. Gamora makes herself more useless, more unreliable with each passing day. Where she fails, you thrive. It would be an honor, Father. We shall see how things go on Phalion. This is your moment. Go and prepare. Keep your communications open. I'll be monitoring the situation. Nebula, are you all right? Are you hurt? Why? Why did you do that? What? I had him. That was my kill and you took it from me! I won't tell Thanos, I promise. We'll keep it to ourselves. Nebula. Father. If you want to gain the honor you desire, kill Gamora. If you don't get rid of her, I will do it myself. Only I will ensure that your sister suffers greatly. Give me the device. Nebula, what are you doing? You took my kill. Give me the device in exchange. Give it to me, now! I'm not asking here. No, that's not how this works. I don't take orders from you. Then you leave me no choice. What are you- It wasn't over. She showed me your last mission together. I tried to show him what really happened with Tarval, but you interrupted us. I'm sorry. I... I didn't know what was going on. 
But you naturally assumed the worst. What do you expect after everything that's happened? Hey! She was always pushing against Thanos, testing his limits. What happened was her fault. Yeah. I practically shoved that knife into my own back. Too bad I had such terrible aim. Some assassin Gamora, I wasn't trying to kill you. Oh yeah? Then what were you doing? Because it looked exactly like you were trying to kill me. Thanos said if she didn't do it, he'd do it himself. Only he'd make you suffer. It's true, Gamora. I saved your Admit life! Admit it. You just wanted to prove you were better than me. By killing If me. I wanted to kill you, you'd be dead! Thanos was going to kill you himself. There would have been nothing left of you. Do you know... I even checked your pulse, just to make sure you were still alive? You never got to see that part. The most important part. But I did. That doesn't make any sense! I'm kind of believing her here, Gamora. If she hadn't fake killed you, I'm pretty sure Thanos would have been a lot more thorough. It's possible. I don't know what to believe. I'm just trying to keep us together. You're my family. Oh, so you finally agree with me about something. What a surprise! I'm just as surprised as you. I figured you'd disagree with me just because that's what you do. Well, I'm not used to you saying anything I'd ever Maybe agree you with. just aren't listening. If I'm not, there's probably a good yeah. reason. And that reason is that you don't listen. That logic is completely circular. Guys, guys, stop. You both want the same thing. He's actually right. It happens sometimes. Uh, more than sometimes. Thank you. Maybe we could... give each other a chance? All right. Peter, I can finally sense the shrine! Okay. Let's go!